What's up, y'all? Another Sabbath day Torah reading. Genesis 35. Then God said to Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and live there, and make an altar there to God, who appeared to you when you fled from your brother Esau. So Jacob said to his household, and to all who were with him, Put away the foreign gods which are among you. See, they had idols of gold and silver. And purify yourselves, and change your garments. And let us arise, and go up to Bethel. And I will make an altar there to God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and has been with me wherever I have gone. So they gave to Jacob all the foreign gods which they had, and the rings which were in their ears. And Jacob hid them under the oak which was near Shechem. As they journeyed, there was a great terror upon the cities which were around them, and they did not pursue the sons of Jacob. So Jacob came to Luz, that is, Bethel, which is in the land of Canaan, he and all the people who were with him. He built an altar there and called the place El Bethel, or El Bethel, because there God had revealed himself to him when he fled from his brother. I believe that speaking of when he had the dream, Jacob's ladder, which is Jesus. Jacob's ladder is Jesus. Now Deborah, Rebecca's nurse, died, and she was buried below Bethel under the oak. It was named Alan Beckett. Then God appeared to Jacob again when he came from Paddan Aram, and he blessed him. God said to him, now the angel already said this to him after he wrestled with the angel, but now God's saying it to him. Your name is Jacob. You shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel shall be your name. And that's where the name Israel comes from. The modern day country of Israel dates back to Jacob. Jacob is Israel. And something else, uh, Israel and the Jews aren't the same thing. Jews are only part of Israel. The Jews aren't mentioned in the Bible for another couple hundred years. And as believers in Jesus, we're grafted in to Israel. We are Israel. All the prophecies about Israel the house of Israel, most of those pertain to us as believers in Jesus, as Christians. Thus he called him Israel. God also said to him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall come from you. And kings shall come forth from you. The land which I gave Abraham and Isaac, I will give it to you. And I will give the land to your descendants after you. Then God went up from, from him in the place where he had spoken with him. Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he had spoken with him. A pillar of stone. And he poured out a drink offering on it. He also poured oil on it. So Jacob named the place where God had spoken with him, Bethel. Then they journeyed from Bethel. And when there was still some distance to go to Ephrath, Rachel began to give birth, and she suffered severe labor. When she was in severe labor, labor the midwife said to her, Do not fear. For now you have another son. It came about 
as her soul was departing, for she died, that she named him Ben-Oni, but his father called him Benjamin. So Rachel died and was buried on the way to Ephrath, that is, Bethlehem. That's uh, one of the two Bethlehems. There's Bethlehem, Ephrath, Ephratha, and Beth Bethlehem, Judah. And Jesus was born in the one in, in uh, Bethlehem, Judah, one in Judea. Jacob set up a pillar over her grave. That is the pillar of Rachel's grave to this day. Then Israel journeyed on and pitched his tent beyond the tower of Eder. It came about while Israel was dwelling in that land. Jacob was dwelling in that land. That Reuben went and lay with Billa, his father's concubine. And Israel heard of it. Now there were twelve sons of Jacob, the sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, then Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulun, the sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin, and the sons of Billah, Rachel's maid, Dan, and Naphtali, and the sons of Zilpah, Leah's maid, Gad and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, who were born to him in Paddan Aram. Jacob came to his father Isaac at Mamre of Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, where, a where Abraham and Isaac had sojourned. Now the days of Isaac were a hundred and eighty years. Isaac breathed his last and died and was gathered to his people, an old man of ripe age, and his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. That's the end of Genesis 35. God bless you guys.